everybody. Welcome to Big Boys Toys. I'm James. We're out in the garage today, and I've got a very special 928 story for you today, and it is called First and Last. I hope you enjoy it. Let's do this. <laughs> The story is called First and Last because that's what it's about. It's about the first 928 ever built and the last 928 ever built. And you wouldn't think that those would be two cars that would be particularly difficult to tell a story about. After all, a manufacturer coming out with a brand new line of cars, wouldn't they keep the first one they ever built in their museum? And wouldn't they keep the last one they ever built in their museum? I would have thought, yeah, of course, they would do that. Not Porsche. Both of those cars ended up in the U.S. We're going to start with the last 928, because that was the story that I was introduced to at the beginning of my uh, 928 ownership. It was a... Uh, uh, a legend, if you will. So let's get into that right now. So the story of the last 928, as I was told the story, as I heard the story recounted uh, several times from different people who had different bits and pieces of the story from third party or fourth party members uh, who were familiar with it, goes as follows. It was late 94, maybe not even late 94, I'm not sure that anybody gave the actual date that this all started, but a man went to Champion Porsche in Florida, and he said, I want to buy the very last 928 that's built. And the Champion Porsche people said, sure, we'll order that up for you. We can, we can make that happen. And so it was, it was, about a $90,000 car base price on a 928 at the time, a little more than 90,000. And by the time they were done putting special paint, special leather, uh, I mean, they covered things in leather that you wouldn't even think you could cover in leather. It was unbelievable. But by the time it was done, it was $173,000. So they almost doubled the price of the car with options. Unbelievable. The highest optioned 928 ever built, hands down. I mean, nothing else, no, no other 928 even comes close to this one as far as from the factory special order stuff. Had special paint, it was a light green pearl paint. The seats were done basically in that same color. So light green pearl seats. And then all the rest of the interior was dark, kind of a dark purple. Um, the dashboard, leather, purple. The seat belts, purple. The but Every button that you touched had purple leather on it. Even the air conditioner vents had purple leather. So the car is ordered and of course it takes quite a long time when you special order a car from Porsche like that. It's going to be one of the very last ones produced because they don't do the, all the special paint colors and everything till the very end of a run. So like if you ordered a GT3 RS in some custom color today, it would be, it would be one of the last GT3 RSs that came off the line for any given model year, I suppose, uh, especially if there is gonna be a big switch in body styles and stuff like that. But they always do them at the end and then they, I guess they clean up all the equipment and then start over for the next model year. So the guy calls uh, the Porsche dealer in, in Florida and goes, hey, how's my car doing? Hey, your car was, was started on the production line or whatever, and it's going. And he said, well, that's great. I'm very excited. I'm so happy to be getting the last 928. And they said, yeah, it's going to be awesome. And he said, I just want to confirm this is the very last 928, right? And they said, this is the very last U.S. 928. And he said, whoa, 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 hold the horses here. Uh, 
I wanted the very last 928, not the last US 928, I wanted the very last 928. And they said, well, there's supposed to be a couple coming after yours that are gonna be Euro production cars, not for the US. So yours will be the last US 928, but probably not the last 928. And he said, I don't want it. I don't want it. So uh, the car is already in progress or in process um, on the assembly line. So uh, Champion Porsche just goes ahead and finishes having the car built and it's of course shipped to them and it sits on their showroom floor for two years. Maybe it was even three years. It seems like it was 97 or 98 before it finally sold off the showroom floor, which is no surprise because it was a really strange color combination and extremely expensive. So it sat for, for quite a while and the story again continues that it was purchased by an orthopedic surgeon for his mother. And she drove it about two or 3,000 miles over the course of a year. And they decided that it was either not the right car for her or that it would, because it was the last US 928, they should probably preserve it. A collector should have it, not, you know, a, a mother or grandmother or whatever. Uh, as her daily driver, it should be in a, in a museum or whatever. So he, he returns the car to the dealership and they sell it again. This time it sells rather quickly. And the story goes that it sells to someone who's French and it is exported from the US. And that's where the story ends. And it's not seen again, despite many 928 fanatics from all over the world looking for it, it's not seen again for years and years and years. And we'll pick the story up there after we backtrack to the number one car. So now let's talk about number one. But before we start with number one, I have to tell you a little story about a friend of mine in the 928 world. His name is Jim Dore, and Jim has an S4, and I knew him from Renlist, and we had exchanged you know, comments and, and uh, conversations back and forth over the years. Uh, we'd known each other for quite a long time online, had never met in person. And he was always very interested in the uh, original cars, the original body cars, OB cars, like that one right there. <clears throat> and the earlier the better for him. He just always was curious about those first cars to come off the line because he I guess it read that they were a little different. And from pictures, you could tell that some of the things on the inside of the car, the interior parts, were not the same as the parts that showed up on the, the even early production cars. So he's always interested in those. And in 2010, he's looking online and he finds a OB car listed for sale, uh, a red one. And he could tell from the VIN number, it was a really, really early car. So he was curious just how early, and he started doing his homework, and ultimately he bought the car in 2010, and it ended up being pre-production car number six. And it happens to be the car that uh, you, you can see it listed on his website. I'll put a link, but here's, here it is right here. See that? That's the one with the uh, Ferry Porsche who was the president of Porsche at the time, obviously, sitting on the hood. It's that car right there. And it was here in the United States. And he's like, oh my God, unbelievably. So he buys it. And you can read on a little further in, in uh, his article or his uh, on his webpage about how he ends up finding it. But uh, he keeps looking for this and, and doing more and more research on it. He finds that there were 12 pre-production cars that were made. And... Um, he has number six, and so he continues looking for the other ones, not thinking that he'll actually ever find them in the U.S., but by golly, he finds number one, and it is worse for the wear, for sure. But that is the first 928 ever built. So again, on his website, you can, uh, you can look that up. Ultimately, he decides to keep number six for himself, Cell number one, a guy named Andrew buys number one, 
And now we are going to go back to the last 928. As I'm editing this video in the office, I realized I failed to mention that Jim Dore has a business called 928 Classics. He restores the uh, early 928s. So if you have an early 928 in need of restoration, don't hesitate to send it to Jim at 928 Classics. He does great work. He restored my uh, 78 that's in the background of the shot uh, during the video, the silver uh, 78 number 295, so it was the 285th. I guess 928 ever built and he does fantastic work so if you have an ob that needs restoration don't hesitate to give jim a call and the earlier the better he loves those early cars about two years ago now maybe three we're in 2022 so it was like 2019 i think that i saw uh, someone post that the last us 928 has shown up and it's in France and it's at a shop getting some work done. So whoever the, the, a person there takes pictures, posts them. It, it, anyway, you'll see the pictures flashing up here. The car looks pretty rough, but it's showing only 25,000 miles. So it, it must have been some rough 25,000 miles, if you know what I mean. Um, but it's intact and it looks like everything is still there. Just dirty and needs a little bit of cleaning and maybe a little bit of restoration, some scratches and stuff like that. And it's getting various things done work-wise. And then eight months or nine months later, it shows up on one of the used car websites in France for sale. 62,000 euro, if I recall correctly. And I wanted it so bad, so bad. But I'm not in a position where I could, uh, liquidating any of these cars to buy that one just probably would have taken more time uh, than that car would have been available. And I, I like the cars that I have currently. I like having one of each body style, OB, S, S4, and, and the camera sitting on the GTS, plus another GTS out in the driveway that needs some work. Um, so I decided that it just, it just wasn't the time for me to have that car. And then I hear later, uh, probably skip on ahead a year or more that a person in the U S has bought the car and a good friend of mine in the 928 world who lives up in Philly says that the guy lives not far from him in New York. And I find, come to find out it's a guy named Alexander. Alexander Van Dam buys a car. He's a 928 collector and has a nice car collection. And he's going to take really good care of this car. And he's been showing it at all the 928 shows and the Porsche Club shows up in the Northeast since he got it back from France. So he has done some research. And the car that the story I heard was that it was the last U.S. car. Turns out that it actually is the very last 928 produced. So now we have the first 928 ever produced in the Northeast. We have the very last 928 ever produced in the Northeast, and they are frequently shown together as first and last. And that is just an amazing story to me and kind of the holy grail right there. I mean, if you could have in the same collection a restored number one and a restored, in this case, it's number 77. Uh, it's the 77th, which is the last of the U.S. cars. It, 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 and it turns out that last of all 928s. But if you could have the first and the last 928 in the same collection, fully restored and perfect, just imagine how cool that would be. That would be a garage I would just live in. I'd just put a bed out there in a bathroom in the garage. I would just live in the garage with those cars all the time and then have, you know, of course you got to have an S and an S4 to round out the body styles of 928, but amazing. So that's the story of first and last. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, click the thumbs up button, like, subscribe if you haven't done so. If you have, thank you very much and keep coming back and watching for more content. Uh, share with a friend, comment if you like this video below and let me know your thoughts on first 
And last, thanks to all the guys involved uh, in restoring, bringing these cars back, getting them together. You guys are awesome. Take great care of those, those beautiful, beautiful cars. And I hope that I can, can get up to an event and see them in person myself sometime soon. You all take care. We'll see you in the next video.